Welcome back. So I wanted to talk a little bit further about the consequences of our actions, especially in regards to hate mail and people using the internet as an excuse to be a little more mean than they normally would. And you mentioned a story to me yesterday. I want to talk God, about this. It was horrible. What happened? Horrible. I got an email, email, okay? And it was uh, yesterday that I that they wrote, and they were saying that I was ugly, that I was fat, and to go kill myself. Kill myself. They used that. I was so angry, so angry. Does this happen to you often? It does. It does um, happen to me often. But this is the first time that actually somebody referred, go kill yourself. And I mean, the way it made me feel at that moment, it, it didn't make me sad. Like, you know, other people it would get you, oh, you know, they call me fat. They call me ugly. I literally focused on go kill yourself because with what happened recently, you know, losing somebody in my life, which was my boyfriend last year, you know, I wasn't okay six months ago. I if probably would have. If you would have received that email six months ago, what would have happened? I probably would have. You wouldn't have seen Anna here, you know? Because and, of and, somebody else's words? And that's what hurts, you know? Yeah. That's what really hurts. And, and it's, it's just, it, it, that's what pissed me off. That's what really pissed me off. And, and more than anything, now I have a niece. I don't have children of my own, but I have a niece. What makes you angrier? The fact that somebody would say that to you or the fact that it makes you feel the way you feel right now? That anybody could be attacked. And how about if the person, you know, behind the screen is suicidal, you know, and they're not okay at that moment. And you go and attack somebody like that and, you know, the consequence, it triggers a suicide, you know, and that's the consequence of hate mail. Anna, do you know who sent this message to you? No. They're too coward to let me know who they were. Do you get these messages often? Not as often. Usually I'll get your makeup looks horrible today without on YouTube. <laughs> That's why I deleted my comments, but you know. But I do see negative comments on your Facebook, on your Instagram, and you leave them up there. Why? Purposely. Why? What, what are the so messages you're sending them? To let them know that I see it and it doesn't hurt me. How are you so strong? The because journey. I would be crushed. The journey. The journey. That's why I'm here. And I'm here with you guys. So what is your message to people who are receiving these messages? talk to someone you know if my family wasn't there at that moment my mom my sister and my niece just listening to me even though she's two years old you know I wouldn't be here you know talk to somebody and, and if you're a teenager you know reach out to your parents if you're too embarrassed to talk to your parents you know talk to a sister a brother an uncle an aunt just talk I to hope somebody. you know that you can always talk to us because we thank love you. you and we want you here forever thank you Love you too. More every white woman when we come back after this.